Yo, yo, what's going on with y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Money Making Marlo in the cut. Got two special guests with me here today. Let y'all know who y'all are. Bomb, 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 Hollywood. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big group, big group. Bomb five. Okay, okay. So what's going on with y'all? What's the vibes like? How, how's everybody been? I'm good, I'm good. I'm doing a lot, I'm doing a lot. Okay. Facts. Niggas are still alive, niggas are still breathing in there, man. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters, bro. Real shit. Okay, before I get into the main questions about what y'all doing and everything, how's y'all week been? How's everybody's week? Yo, know, November 6th, you know, I'm fighting in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, you know? okay. So I just found out last week, so I just started training camp this week. Yeah. So, you know, four week training camp and then I'm out of here. Okay, what about you? What you up to? How's your week been? <clears throat> Shit, everything been good. <clears throat> everything been good, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. stacking my pee, you know what I mean? Making my money and shit. Everything's good, man. You know okay, I mean? okay. Help my fans out, you know, so. Yes, so bless, you know? What you smacking on? I'm just smacking on this rice and uh, chicken and <laughs> veggies, you know what I mean? <laughs> Soft things, so. Uh, so has COVID slowed down the grind for any anybody? Or y'all just uh, grind right through it? I'm in the gym every day, you know. Like, well, I haven't changed nothing. My dad owns the gym, so you know, COVID really never stopped me, you know. Mm -hmm. Never stopped other people, but. When you speak about fucking um, athletes, look, can I swear in this podcast? Go ahead. Okay, do you no, think? I just want to speak naturally. Do you think? Do you think? <clears throat> when it comes to athletes, bro, training, like, bro, I'm going to say on a serious note, bro, <clears throat> most niggas are training for like one time a day, two times a day, and they're, and they're off it, you know? Fam, this nigga, his lifestyle, I've witnessed it firsthand, bro, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The man is in the gym 24-7, you know? So, it's not even a joke thing, you know? Like, the man really lives this shit, you know? Yeah. And bro, with boxing? Hollywood. Bro. Nah, nah, seriously, man. Ser on a serious day, note, day, you know? Day, like, bro, you can play football, basketball, soccer, hockey, you cannot play boxing, bro. This is a hurt business, you know? Like, this, mm -hmm. is, this, is, this is a sport where you can legally halas a man, you know? Mm -hmm. Merc a man in the ring, you know what I mean? And nothing can be done for you, you know what I mean? So, shit, man, it's a, it's a serious sport, you know? No joke, you know what I mean? No game shit, you know? So, yeah, man. Yeah, I was always trying to say, you know? um, things never took breaks in COVID, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, sure. Have, have y'all seen any difference in anything since COVID started? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you used to wake up six in the morning. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, bro, honestly, like, since I, since I got out of, out of high school, like, you know, when I was going into grade 12, like, I just set schedule, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is when I train, you know, like I said, my dad owns a gym, so this is the time I train, and from then, every day, boom, that's the time I train, you know? Yeah. So nothing changes for me, you know what I mean? I have all the necessary, like, everything I need, a boxing gym, you know, nothing changes for me. Okay, do y'all you, do you ever train together or anything? Yeah, well, yo, so Dover, like, I met Dover like in the box, and like when we started boxing, like I never really seen Dover because he lives on the north side. You know what I'm saying? Two yeah. different used gyms, to, used you to, know? Yeah. But then, you know, he started going to his gym downtown. No, 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 no. Fam, I used to, I that alliance with John. Mm. You know, you already you've known yeah, John. Yeah, I know, I know. But okay. you live north side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gym moved done. to downtown. We started yeah. going to that it's, gym. Okay, we started done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's where we linked up, you know, at the boxing gym. Because when we spar, we go to different gyms. So, you know, I met this guy down at Alliance, you know, and then yeah. he was making this comeback at the time because he boxed when he was younger, but yeah. he quit. Yeah. And then when he came back, he was like, how old were you? I was like fucking 17, 18. He was like we were in high school, you know? You know, and we were training. That year, we were training to go to Nationals. Facts, you know what I'm saying? facts. 2018? And this guy, like, you know, he took a break. You know, so like you had to go through provincials and all that. I don't even think you fought at provincials. No, I didn't. Yeah, you didn't even I fight. Didn't. So weird. So we went to training camp and like out of town, you know, because yeah. that whole everyone who went to provincials they go train out of town. Some freaking Alberta, Alberta, <laughs> Alberta Lodge Pool. Yeah, Lodge Pool. ass fucking so gym. Out of Buckwheat Town, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of boxes, just in the cabin and shit, just. Training for yeah. like mm -hmm. boxes all over the world, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if, if you could speak on it, the script for tomorrow. <laughs> so if you could speak on it, how come how come you quit and came back? Like what happened to make you, make you quit? On a serious note, on a serious token, fam, bro. <clears throat> with boxing, man, 
I don't even want to rant, bro. I don't even want to vent. You know what I mean? But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a simple explanation. You know what I mean? Boxing wasn't paying my bills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So shit, I had to fucking find a way to, you know, make some bread. You know what I mean? Put a loaf of bread or two in the fridge. You know what I mean? Have my mom out. You know? And it's not even just me. You know? I have two older, two older bros that help out. You know? Mm -hmm. Pops is not here. You know what I mean? So shit, man. You know? Niggas just been. Niggas been thugging out of government house like their whole life, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like nigga now it's like now niggas are grown and niggas are starting to see, you know, um what like what we've been going through our whole lives, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just with our dukes and everything. So I mean shit, box wasn't paying my bills, bro, so you know what I mean? I had to go make some money, you know what I mean? So So what about now? Are you back in that? Uh, so yeah, to, right to be honest, right now I'm just, you know, slowly trying to get my shit back, you know? Mm. And um, I'm just trying to rebirth myself, you know, because Bro, this shit is no game to be played with, you know? And um, uh, this guy... Yeah, the is gonna come back, make his comeback. This right. guy, yo, let me talk for him. This guy's gonna make his comeback. You know, 2019 is when he stopped boxing. 2019, he won, like, nationals. He went yeah, to, he was outside. He went to the world, you know? He went to the Youth Olympics, you yeah. know? And then he quit, you know? But I told him, you know, after he's done working, but he has a couple months left of working, and uh, after he's done working... He's back in the gym, you know. Oh, yeah. He's making his pro debut 2022, you know what I'm saying? 2022, man, trust so, me. So what it is, I need to, bro, I need to start getting paid off of this right here, you know what uh, I mean? Real shit, you know? So mm. that's what it is, man, you know what I mean? Okay, so where does this whole boxing motivation come from? Do y'all just like fighting, throwing hands? Like, like, how does that all go down? You know what I'm saying? Say that again. The boxing motivation, where does all that come from? Well, honestly, you niggas just like throwing hands or what? My my dad got me into boxing, you know. Oh, for real? Yeah. How just, when you, you when know? you when your when your pops brought you into the gym? How old were you? I was twelve. Yo, first like yeah, yo, you I, I, I wanted to go to the gym when I was younger, you know, because my brother boxed before yeah. my older brother, and then you know my dad's like yo, you know, just yo learn how to jab, you know. So he taught me how to jab, you know. Yeah. For the bro, I was jabbing for a whole year in my house, you know. The man them wouldn't take me to the box and just be you know, just jab, 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 jab. Yeah, yeah. So after like a year, I'm like, hey, bro, I, I think I know how to jab. Let's go to the box and just yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So then he finally took me to the gym, you know. So I was like 12 years old when I, yeah, when I started, when I, when I started. But I wasn't serious until I got to like grade nine. Yeah. You know, so, what I'm so what made you get serious? Bro, honestly, when I remember the day that it made me get serious, you I was just because before I started boxing at 12, but then I had, you know, I boxed for a year and then I quit, you know, because I was into hockey. You know, hockey? growing up in Canada, bro, you know, yeah. I used to play a lot of hockey. Facts. So I was playing hockey and then I'm in junior high, you know? Yeah. And like, you know, in junior high, like, you know, when you take those classes and and junior high, they, they'd be like, yo, what do you want to do when you grow up, you know? You want to like do a options? trade, yeah. you want yeah. to do this? Yeah. And me, like, I didn't want to do that. Like, I knew I wanted to be a professional athlete, wow. you know? So I was playing hockey and basketball. Facts. I'm like, yo, honestly, I'm too small for hockey. And I'm too small for basketball, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I knew I was good at boxing, you know? Because when I was in the gym, I was actually... Had talent. And for you your know, weight like, class, and for your weight class, you're big for your yeah, weight so class. Yeah, so I was on YouTube. I seen Adrian Brown, and this is what mm -hmm. Adrian Brown. That's the up, man. Real shit, man. Yo, this is what Adrian Brown was first. Ab, man. You know, like 2014, fam. You yeah. know, I seen him on the come up. I seen this video of him, like the next Mayweather. I'm like, bro, these boxers are getting paid. You know, I was like 14 yeah. at the time. I'm like, bro, I know I can make it in boxing. I'm gonna go boxing. I just went upstairs. I'm like, yo, dad. We gotta go back to the gym, you know? And then my dad took me back to the gym and then boom, ever since then I was fully locked in. Like, you know, I was like, yo, I'm going to nationals, I'm going to the Olympics, all that, you know? So that's when I locked in. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. When I was 14, I locked Fast. in. I was like, yeah, that's okay. no this is it, bro. Okay, what about you? Where'd your motivation come from? Fam, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Fucking, um, fam. Just growing up in E Field, you know? When mm -hmm. I was a jet, you know what I mean? Uh, my oldest broski, C Biz, you know, he's like fucking. Uh, one day, cause I, I I knew I wanted to do contact sports, you know what I mean. My whole life, I knew I wanted to just either fuck. Like to be honest, bro, my first passion was the NFL, you know what I mean. I wanted to make it to the NFL, you know what I mean. Real yeah. shit, you know. And um, uh, 
and just growing up, you know, I always, I knew I always wanted to just do a contact sport. Like football was my first love, you know. But I remember just watching Rocky with my pops one day. Uh, you know, uh, the first Rocky. You know what I mean? Bro, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and bro, I'm just thinking. I'm just, I'm just thinking about it now. Like I remember, like, like just watching it in the living room with, with my pops when I was a, when I was a youth. And um, bro, I remember just watching the movie and just saying, "Yo, can I do this shit?" And then I remember I, my my oldest broski, C Biz. You know, he's like, "Yo, you want to go to a boxing gym?" And there's a gym called Beverly Bronx Boxing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, right, Mayfield. You know what I mean? Right in the hood. You know? Mm -hmm. And found that gym. Fuck, man. So much talent was produced from that gym. You know? And um, uh, long story short, bro, fam, the gym was just in the hood. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of niggas that were from the hood that went to that gym, you know? Wow. And a whole bunch of shit got fucked up. It's just, but me, I was a youth at the time, so I never understood anything that was going on. Like me, I'm just oblivious, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I remember fucking training in the gym with my nigga K Gunner, you know? And uh, my coach, Sheldon, you know? You fucking uh, pull up on us, you know? And he'd be like, and you give us a stack of cash, you know what I mean? Like a stack of a stack of twenty, you know what I mean? For. Say again? To play for it? Or y'all was to fight for it? No, 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 no. Because the gym was on 118 Ave and there was a shopper down from the gym. So I remember he would, he would throw us a stack of change, you know? Of like fucking fives or twenties or tens or whatever, you know what I mean? And he'd be like, yo, go go run to the shoppers and change this for me. Put it uh -huh. put it into fifties or twenties or whatever. Whatever the case might be, you know? And I remember me, me and my nigga can't gonna we'd just run down the block, you know? Change, uh, change the paper. We used to run up the block, run up and down the block, 18 Ave. You know what I mean for for um, for running for our cardio and shit. Yeah. And uh, bro, that gym, like when you talk about, like when you talk about a gym that produces fucking uh, talent. You know what I mean? A gym that no, is just. Fam, you don't think so? You don't understand, fam. No, no, listen, listen. No, listen. No, you don't no, understand because no, you never experienced it, fam. You know what I mean? The question was, what motivated you? What, what and, I, and I'm getting to that, fam. To I, thought, I thought this was a podcast, fam. Okay, I thought it was a small speech, bro. Yo, yeah, what this nigga, fam? Yo, what this nigga, bro? Yo, listen, fam. Yo, listen, fam. The gym was filled. Fam. What he's trying to say is his gym was filled with a bunch of drug dealers, bro. Fam. You know what I'm saying? Okay. His gym, bro, like, that's a fact. Like, it is. I know, fam. He was a drug dealer. He got locked up, you know? I'm not trying to diss nobody. You know, I'm not going to say no names, but, you know... That's what happened with uh, the gym, you know? Is what he's saying true? Yeah. Fam, it's no cap, you know what I mean? It, you know, you know, know what I mean? Fam, listen. And he had the, all these kids in the gym chopping for him. Yo, listen to me, fam. Yo, down, listen fam. to me, fam. Listen to me. And that's it. Yo, and that was the end fam. for him when he was like 13 years old. Bro, listen, old. fam. Was the end for okay, him. can I speak now, bro? Okay, speak, can I speak, speak bro? Speak, speak. Okay, listen, bro. At the end of the day, this man never... Okay, this man never experienced... The, ne this man never came to the gym, you know what I mean? Like, when we were both, because we both started like same time, you know? Mm -hmm. He was boxing his gym, I was boxing my gym. Fam, this guy never experienced what I experienced when I was at that gym, you know no, what I mean? Did not. I you did never not. experienced it, you no. know what I mean? And you never knew the man, you know? No. Me, I knew the man, bro, you know what I mean? Like, the man trained you know, when, I was a when I was a youth, you know? Me, my nigga fucking uh, K-Gunner, you know? A couple niggas from the hood, you know what I mean? Would come to the gym and this guy would train us, bro. And bro, it was just something else, man, you know? Like, you can't explain it, you know? It's just some shit that you just have to experience, you know? Mm -hmm. When there's a gym that fucking is in the heart of the hood, you know? And there's fucking a whole bunch of shit going on, you know? But at the end of the day, when 6 p.m. comes, you know you're going to go downstairs, you know what I mean? Go hit the bag, bro, you know? Go feel good about yourself, bro, and go put in work. And honestly, just go and dream about more. Mm -hmm. Go aspire to be more, you know what I mean? And that's what happened for us, you know? When we were in the gym, we aspire to be more, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, um, yo, you know, God bless his soul, you know what I mean? I hope, you know, God brings us back together, you know what I mean? Where I can speak with speak speak with the man, you know what I mean? Yeah, Niggas are grown now, you know? Yo, listen, fam, bro, <laughs> this, yo, on a serious note, fam, yeah. on a serious note, you know? Um, I just hope God blesses him, you know what I mean? And, 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 uh, so so, you, and so, helps you're, coach, coach, so no? you're saying your old coach was your motivation. But that's what it is. That was Sheldon, right? So check this out. So Sheldon so, was your motivation. So listen, no, it wasn't. So, so check that out. So Sheldon was at the gym training a whole bunch of kids. You know what I mean? There was a man named John Mendoza. Old man, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I shouldn't even call him old, you know, but he was older than Sheldon, you know what I mean? Bro, what's your motivation, man? And I'm oh, here, tell him your motivation, man. Let him do his thing. Yeah, what are you saying, man? <laughs> what are you saying? Let him do his thing. Go on, go on, go on. Go ahead, so, yo, so yo, John, older man at the gym, you know what I mean? 
and he was training Sheldon, so he was training everyone, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I th- so for me, when I got older, bro, when I got out of high school, I was just like, yo, what am I saying, fam, you know? Fuck you, and I graduated a semester early, you know what I mean? Out of AOB, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, what am I saying, bro, you know? And then, bro, I was just like, yo, fuck it, man. I, 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 I went to go speak with my football coach. I was like, yo, I'm not feeling this football shit no more. Because I was on the football team at AOB. I was like, yo, I'm not feeling this shit no more. I need to hop onto some next shit, bro. Bro, I go to the gym, fam. And, bro, when I seen John, fam, you know what I mean? Everything that I felt when I was a youth, boom, it was just sparked back inside of me, you know? And so fucking, um, yeah, bro, you know what I mean? And just, I went hard, fam. 2018 Nationals, you know? Me and the Slinger, fam, we were going hard every day, you know? It was, it was, it was a blessed, more, 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 better times, mm-hmm. better times, you know what I mean? Jeez, so, okay. Facts, bro. So how come, how come you got bad blood against this coach? I don't have no bad blood against this coach. Oh, it's not like that. No, no, no <laughs> I respect this coach. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. What I'm saying? I just wanted to know if Sheldon was his motivation. Man. Still didn't say, what was your motivation? My motivation, fam? <laughs> to box. What was your motivation? My to motivation box? to box, fam, is to get out, get out of the hood, fam. So, yeah, you want to get that money. You think of course is the way out, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get to the money, TMT, man. Get to the money, yes, sir. Fuck TMT, bro. Make your own shit. Paid suit shit, bro. Nah, Hollywood, man. Hollywood, bro. Hollywood, bro. You know, fuck TMT. Don't need that bro. Sign, bro. So how, how do you... Yeah, fuck with TMT, you know what I mean? But TMT, man. at the end of the day, niggas need to be on their own shit, you know what I mean? This. So the Hollywood name, how'd the Hollywood name come to you? Um... I used to box with this kid back in the day, you know, he used to be like my training partner, right? Mm-hmm. And we used to travel and stuff, and his dad would come with us on the trips, you know? Mm-hmm. And you know, since like, since a kid, I've always done dumb shit, like, you know, just, like, you know, just out doing dumb shit, yeah, getting yeah. in trouble, you know? So, just active, you know? Yeah, you know, just, Thanks. you know, so... One day we were at this tournament, you know, he just, he just told my dad, he's like, yo, Paige is Hollywood, you know? Mm. And boom, they just started calling me Hollywood. Yeah, the light skinned nigga just yeah. running through, you know? Hollywood ass uh, nigga. I just laughing with that, my girl. Yeah. Oh, Hollywood. Yeah. Okay, where did you go, bro? Where'd that come from? <laughs> yo, to be honest, bro, nobody didn't even come from boxing. Nobody came from fucking Calgary. Yo, yo you know what his real boxing nickname is? Uh. ST. How do you know why? Because he's a shit talker, bro. No, I'm dead ass. That's what it was. I'm back it up. It's time to talk shit. Fam, to be honest, that that was my first nickname in boxing when I was a JIT, when I used to box that Bronx, you know what I mean? That was my first nickname. It's not, it's not shit talking as like, yo, he's gonna talk shit and he's gonna back it up. It's shit talking as if. Yo, I'ma be there, coach. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then he's not there. Yo, no, it's that kind of shit they're talking about. That's you, bro. That's T, man. That's you. To be honest, man, shit. I gotta get this. I gotta get this money, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, bro. <laughs> that's his excuse for everything, man. Okay, so okay, that's St. What about Dover boy? Dover, oh, shit, man. Southside Calgary, man. That's your block, isn't it? Fam. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, Calgary nigga. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. Mm-hmm. Dover boy originated from Calgary. Dover is a block in Calgary. Like uh-huh. when you go to Calgary, niggas called Dover D block. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And there's a whole bunch of just young pseudo niggas on that block, you know, mm-hmm. and a couple other niggas, you know, from different ethnicities. So now it's taking over seven, eight, oh, you know what it is, you know what it is yeah. man. Pseudo thing. But I was gonna say, um, shout out to all my pseudos, man. I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, bro, Dover. Where I, that like that I was born on that block, you know what I mean? Like that was the so first yeah, block that I seen. Man? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Bro, when I was a junior high, I was like, yo, what am I gonna call myself, fam? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And to be honest, I was just like, yo, I was born on Dover. Like that's the block that I was born on, you know? Like that was the block that I first experienced. Shit, I'm a Dover boy, you know? Dover mm-hmm. boy. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? see. But I but I but I but I but I'm gonna keep it a stack though, I never grew up there. You know what I mean? I call myself Dover, but I never grew up there. I, I was uh, okay. I was born in Calgary. And I was raised in Edmonton, you know. So I never grew up. I never grew up on Dover. You know what I mean? But Dover was the first block that I experienced, and I have family fucking all over Calgary. You know what I mean? That will for me, you know. That, uh, you know that was the that was the first block that I was born from. You know, so I don't want to say too much more. You know, what's what's the boxing scene like in Calgary? Is it just as crazy as Eat Top or more serious? It's, it's the same everywhere unless you go to like the East Coast, like 
come back in Montreal. You know? What's it like over there? So I like, come back in Montreal is like the home of boxing in Canada. You know, there's a lot of boxing gym. Like a lot Bro, to be honest, it's it's not even the home. It's honestly just the um, the mega center. Like it's like just like it's we're so all. There's a lot of boxing gyms down there. That's what I'm saying. But you it's, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The I more guess. boxing gyms there are, the more boxes there's gonna be. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Facts. So down in the east, there's a lot of boxing. You know, everywhere around West Ca- Western Canada, British Columbia, you know, mm-hmm. Alberta, it's all the same. You know. It's, uh, so I'm this you know, this this is coming from like an ignorant point of view because I don't know that much about boxing. How does the weight classes work? Uh, like, would y'all ever see each other in the ring? No, no, no. How does it he, work? He, no, so there's obviously weight divisions. So you know, there's there's like a bunch of weight divisions: flyweight, lightweight, heavyweight, middleweight. Yeah. You know, light heavyweight. Sucks. You know me, I'm I'm a flyweight. I just bought. Good. Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bam, 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 bam. So what are what are some of your like routines when you're getting ready for? Let's say you have you waiting for a next fight. You have a fight the next day. What's your routine when you're getting ready when for? I, when I fight the next day. Yeah, when you have a fight coming up, basically. Like the next day, or like how long after? Like like 24 hours before 24 the fight. 24 hours before. Yeah. I'm just chilling. Like, oh, you're not on like late night runs. You don't do any of that? I'm not, yo. Yeah, I'll be I'm honest not with you. running before I'm, I, I fight. Like, yo, I think it's so. before I, 24 hours, I'm just chilling, yo. Like, you oh, know, you're in your I'm mentally getting prepared for the fight, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because boxing is 90% mental, Facts. 10% physical. So, like, yeah. before the fight, even like two days before the fight, I'm not doing anything, just preparing myself mentally, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, what you, D-Boy? Yeah, to be honest, bro, I haven't fought in a minute, you know what I mean? So, I just have to skip that, you know? Because, like, I haven't fought in a minute, you okay, know? Okay, but, so. yo, I, what do you do? Like, yeah, I'm not sure. Fight. I'm not sure. It's 24 hours before your fight. Uh, every fight, the 2019 you fought, what'd you do, bro? This fucking coke, bro. I know, to be honest, you know what I would do, bro? Fam, I would watch old Meek Mill videos of him freestyling yeah, yeah, when he was yeah, like yeah, 17. Yeah, you remember, remember that, that. You remember that. Yeah. I was well, I, I, bro, I watched like videos of Meek Mill when he was like 16, 17, freestyling, you know? Just grimy videos. Just grimy videos, you know what I mean? Yeah, when he was, when he was hungry. hungry. When he was hungry, yeah, you know? Yeah. And bro, when I watched that shit, I watched that shit before all my fights, bro, and bro, I was just fucking, fuck, just putting myself into a different element, you know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what I mean. That like that's what that's what I do before fights, you know. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nice. Some sometimes sometimes I listen to a one two GB GB track, you know. Mm-hmm. Give me all my yeah, shit. Yeah. Give me all my mental. Sometimes I listen yeah. to your GB the next day. Trust, you know? Trust, okay. Right. Okay. You know? Home of fire, you know. What I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Do y'all feel like E Town's a good starting spot when it comes to what y'all are doing? For boxing, absolutely. No, no, why is that? Absolutely no. Why is that? For boxing, it's not because. You know what it's I'm a trash city, bro. It's fucking. There's, there's, there's not. Niggas come here to work. Mm. That's it. Niggas come here to work nine to five. Listen, in Canada, there's no you boxing. Know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's not like. No, the there States, is. In Montreal, boxing. Toronto, stop. Still, it's not like the States. You it's know not what like I'm saying? States, what I'm yeah. saying is like, I'm intent for boxing. This is not it. You know. So you're saying? saying if you want to take boxing serious, you gotta hit the States. Not necessarily. Yeah. You yeah. have to hit the States. Yo, I'm, I'm the most serious. Listen, man, in the sport right now. And I'm in the sport. And I'm in the sport. You think so? Name, name a man uh, that's uh, more serious uh, than me. And I'm into boxing. Okay, listen, that's not what he's saying. That, that's what he's saying. Is, is boxing hard to come up if you live in the city? It is. Like, but, listen, it is. That's but listen, though. But Edmonton, but the States is not the only place that you can become successful through boxing. No, it's not. But the question is is it hard? It is hard, bro. To come out of Edmonton? Edmonton, Edmonton yeah, of course. Edmonton. Of course it is. You gotta, you gotta, bro, that's not hard to do anything. At the end of the day, bro, there's just no scene here. Yeah, that's what I mean. So yeah. You gotta move around. You gotta place to place. Exactly. Because because I'll be honest with you, a man like, bro, shout out Ryan Ford, bro. You know what I mean? A man like Ryan Ford, serious, bro, you know? In my eyes, bro, probably the most serious. Like, what would I do? For me, bro, I, I, I rank him. I rank him. I rank him with Arter Better Biev and fucking John Pascal and Adonis Stevenson and all of those top niggas that done it for Canada, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's where I rank him, you know? Real shit, fam. Yeah. 
Jesus. Yeah, bro. Okay. You know what's, what what's something y'all wish you knew before? Like something you know now that you wish you knew before, just so it could have sped up the process. Nothing, man. Trust the process. Trust, trust the process. Trust the process. Yeah. You wouldn't, so you wouldn't have. Y'all wouldn't have changed anything. Nah. You kept everything just the way. It oh, was. buddy, you know what I would have changed? Like I would have fucking. I would have went fucking hard as soon as I was in this shit mm. until right now. Mm -hmm. Never took no breaks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like never got sidetracked by bitches and mm -hmm. turning up and fucking all of this shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yo, fam, I'm just on the podcast right now. Can I call you back, guys? <laughs> Real shit. Yo, yo. Yo, can I call you back, bro? Wait, can you just can I just can I just can I just can <laughs> I keep That's not serious. Bro. That's all good. It's all good. Yeah, unprofessional. So, no, out of kidding. out of all the competition y'all had, who who was the most difficult? Oh fuck! Uh, to be honest, no one. If I ever lost a fight, I'd be myself. You know, Jeez. nobody's better than me. Bro, I'm you, fam. I fucking. <laughs> I face some pretty that's fucking tough niggas, bro. You know what I mean? That's when you have That's when you. So one nigga from fucking Team Egypt. You know what I mean? Nigga that I took it all to. Oh yeah, where uh, was that? That was in fucking uh, in uh, in Budapest. Oh, you got your ass. What, my? Yeah, you, <laughs> you got the ass. This guy's got the ass. Because he because he watched the fight, yeah. so he knows he knows exactly what the so, fight was. So what's something you think he should have done in that fight to win? What do so, you yeah, think he could have done? To be honest, this guy he could he he didn't train. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you went in without training. You know what I'm saying? This guy didn't train, bro. He Why didn't, he wasn't, he bro, I trained, bro, bro, but I didn't have an actual serious cap, you yeah. know, like, he was straight. Mm, so you just went in, so what, what, what type of outcome was you expecting out of that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, to be honest, bro, you know what it was, bro, for me, bro? Uh, he was just free flowing, fam. He was yeah, well, I was just freestyling, bro. Like, well, I'm not gonna lie. Well, honestly, bro. it happened too fast for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he came off a break, he came to nationals, he, yeah, actually, nationals, bro, and he, he got on Team Canada, and then Team Canada just started sending him places. And the guy took a break for a minute. Yeah. So when he came back, and he's going to international tournaments and shit, and fighting guys with like 100 fights and more. And he has like 20, you know what I'm saying? He's just like, he's just going with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Facts, bro. I just, I, I, just I, 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 I didn't even know what to expect, you know? Like, I was just like, yo, fuck it, bro. What are these niggas saying on the other side of the world, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fuck it, bro, you know? So, but yeah, to be honest, bro, fam, I have to do this shit now, you know what you I mean? I have to, like, bro, before, I'm thinking like, I'm gonna pay my bills through selling work, or I'm gonna pay my bills through fucking working a nine to five, bro. I need to pay my bills through this, fam. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Real shit, bro. So, I mean, I've been having conversations, you know what I mean, with uh, with a good man in my life, you know. Yeah. And um, uh, a good man I'm in my life, a lot, and, 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 and a good man, a good man upstairs, and a good man that's physically in my life, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A man that's been through a lot of shit, you know. And he's just like, just mentally, mentally preparing me to like. Um, Get back into this shit, you know? Cause yeah. bro, when I get back uh, into this shit, bro, I'm not trying to fucking dance with niggas no more, you know? Like I'm trying to fucking flip niggas, bro. Like I'm trying to yeah. flex niggas, you know what I mean? Like yeah. straight, bro. You yeah, know? I'm trying to Hollywood, uh, I'm trying bro, to Hollywood. Yo, yo, fam, I'm super fam, you know? Okay, like, so, so you just had a fight. Was it Miami? Where was it? It was uh, on live. It wasn't Miami. It was in um, Chicago. It was what in um, yo. Honestly, I forget. It was in Iowa. It was, Iowa. 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 It was in Indiana. It was like, it's like two, two hours away from Chicago. Okay. Yeah, you know what, what was that like? What was the scenery like? What was the fight like? Yo, it was good. I had like a two week training camp in Miami because, you know, Trust. my camp's based on Miami now. You mm -hmm. know, like my manager, my pro coach. Like, you know, I, I work with my original coach that started me in amateur boxing, but mm -hmm. then I also have a pro coach. You know, they work together now. So, you know, I just trained. I had a camp in Miami, and then after that, two weeks in Miami, I left to Iowa, Chicago, mm -hmm. and you know, it was all good. It was did you go into the fight? fight? Did you go into the fight knowing you was going to beat the niggas ass or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come well, on, you knew bro. it. Like, yo, as soon as... Confidence. Yeah, of course, you know what I mean? Hollywood, man. You Hollywood. know the <laughs> <laughs> But, 
Yeah, yo, he's on for it. No one's yeah. gonna beat me if you, if you have no wins. Like you have to have a win to at least beat me. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, I saw I saw the IG live. Hella love from the city, bro. Oh yeah, I love man. everywhere. Viral. You know that was nothing. There's like 200 people on the live. You know, Sheesh. we shot a lot, 200,000. You know, mm. that's bro. Good. Okay. 2,000 next fight. You know what I'm saying? Okay, D boy, you gonna be up there soon. Yo, listen, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. I don't even know why I'm on this podcast. Like, I'm not even boxing right now, bro. Like, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not even serious right now, bro. Yeah, I mean? But yo, when niggas see me, fam, you know, inshallah, fam, you know, bro, if, if God allows me to make this happen, fam, you know what I mean? It'll be a blessing, you know? Yo, listen, but I can't say anything right, right now, now bro. I'm not even in the gym right now, you know? Under me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm gonna be world champ. This guy's gonna be world champ. Yes, like, you know, yes, I, yes. I, I mean, Dover, we box together, you know what I'm saying? I watched this guy win nationals. Trust you me. know, I've been to nationals with him, you know, trained, all Fact. that. Like, we live on the same block. Like, you know, even though he stopped boxing in 2019, mm-hmm. like, like, he stopped boxing, but yo, he's, I told him he's gonna come back. So y'all are each other's like best motivators. Y'all are each other. For sure. Bro, this nigga fam, bro, niggas don't even understand. He's gonna die at World Champion. As long as I live, fam, he's gonna be like behind. Bro, bro, I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck, fam. Bro, there's only like a few few certain niggas that I see, look at in my life, where I'm like, yo, you know, Allah has put this person in my life, you Mm -hmm. know? Allah has honestly put this person in my life, like, with a specific, you know? designed soul agenda fam to get me into the gym because fam this nigga is literally in the hood with me fam live like I, like me personally bro like fam there's like when i'm going through my shit that i'm going through i don't see niggas you know but fam for this nigga to be in the hood fam with me live bro to tell me like yo still broke with me to tell me yo you need a fucking box fam that's the only way where you're gonna fucking eat, bro. that's like me that's all i need to hear you know and if a nigga that is fucking, you know what I mean? Talking it through, fucking telling me that I need a box fam. Not no fucking older nigga, but a nigga that understands what I'm going through, you know what I mean? And a, and a nigga that's my age, and a nigga that has gone through everything that I've gone through, you know what I mean? Understands me, you know? It's like fucking, I have to do this shit, you know what I mean? Like, I, to be honest, fam. Me and fam, my brother. Fam. Me and my brother. Fam. <laughs> trust, you know fam. Fam. All right. So my last question to y'all is, to someone that's trying to get to the same position y'all are right now, what would be the best word of advice? To get to, I mean, to be honest, like, you know, I'm not really anywhere, you know, humbly, like, you know, <laughs> I know I'm humbly <laughs> and stuff, but like, you know, you just got to work hard, fam. Work mm-hmm. hard a lot. Believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, you know, for Dolby's case, he doesn't believe in himself. I believe in him, you know. <laughs> that's He's going to make it, you know what I'm mean. saying? But like, you know, belief, bro. You know, work hard and, you know, all praise to the most high, you know. Yo, you twist that Lizzie? Yeah, that's what's up, that's up. Yeah, I, mean, I just wanted to make sure, you know what I mean? What about you, D-Boy? Like, what's like, uh, what's the... Uh, anyway, I mean, I guess you're not really in it, but just, you know, with the same mentality. Bro, this guy's in the sport of boxing. Mm-hmm. Bro, you know to be honest, no, because you know what it is? Bro, I've seen, bro, I've been, have, bro, I've visited John a couple times, you know? And bro... I'm not even telling this man that, like, yo, I'm going to start training on this date. I'm already training when I'm at work, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm already fucking busting out push-ups, bro, chin-ups, fucking dips, yeah, bro, yeah, crunches. I'm back. already going on runs and shit at, like, after work, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's not even like I'm not even training yet. I've been training, fam, you know? I'm just fucking, I'm just, like, training slowly. I'm stretching all my, at my own pace, you know? And to be honest, what, what, what did you ask again? <laughs> no, 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 I remember what he asked. No, 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 no. He's like, yo, what's the this best? Is, okay, this, this is exactly why his nickname is ST. Like, so, so, this guy just talks shit. Bro, people trying to get to the position you're at, like, what would be word of advice? Word of advice? To get to the top. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Bro, to be honest, for a person like, to get to the bro, for a person to get to a successful point, bro, to be honest, for a person bro, for a person to get to a successful point in their life through this boxing shit, fam, bro, I mean, to be honest, I, I have a different... Cause me, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I have a different, uh, I have a different um, analogy about that. Like in this boxing, this boxing shit is the hurt business. Okay, but yo, like, you know what I mean? like, kid growing up, bro. <laughs> like, what do you like? You're gonna 
bro. All, all I can say, hard work and dedication bro. and belief, bro. bro all I can say you? is, fam, this sport. In God, you're gonna make it to the top. Of course, but yo, for me, bro, it. bro, all I can That's say, it. fam, in this sport, fam, this sport is not made for a rich for a rich man. Mm -hmm. This is a poor person sport. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, that I mean, yes. I mean that's yes. that's the way I feel about it. Bro. Listen, you know what I mean? Listen, can make it. If a has, rich person can be. If he it. has what I said, hard work, dedication, and believes in himself and believes in God, and bro, he's gonna do anything is possible. Oh my God, anything, Any, is, anything is possible. Fries, fries, anything. Fries. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's all I got to ask. Is there anything y'all want to ask me before I end this all off? Shit, man. Nah, man. You know what it is? You know, you know I got very love for you, fam. You know? Come on, nah, come on. Nah, I'm no, been on you for time. Yo, know, let it, let niggas know where they can find y'all. Yo, yeah. to be honest, I've been, I've been, I've been a hiatus right now, so I think it's kind of my feet, you know what I mean? But I'm on a podcast, you know? Yeah, nah, so it's I'm like, good, it's good. ironic, you know what I mean? But yeah. How about you, Hollywood? Listen, yeah. man, you can follow me at, on Instagram, at Paige Suche, you know? You gotta spell that last name, bro. Nobody yo, knows about listen, that. Put, it, put it in the link or put it in somewhere. Listen, in this video. it's such, like, such as an it. Like such as this or hey, such yo, as P -A -I -G -E -S -U -C -H -I -T. All social yeah. media is paid to chat. Hollywood, you can vibes, man. Hollywood. You can follow my boy Dover at Dover Boy. I don't know why he's not trying to drop his Instagram. But you know, yo. it's my young boy on the come up. This is my nigga on the come up. <laughs> come on, my young boy, this is my nigga. <laughs> my, yo, listen. My brother. On a serious note, fam, I want to ask you, fam. What's fuck up? all this boxing shit, fam. My nigga, what are you saying with the scene of Edmonton, bro? Like, what are you trying to create with this whole yeah, podcast? This whole thing? Speak to bro, me about this shit, fam. Me, I'm trying to show, like, obviously, I'm trying to build up first. You know what I'm saying? Get okay. to the fan base. Ooh, okay. Get all that going on. Facts. I want to show people over there that there's something going on over here. Okay. The niggas in Toronto, Vancouver, they think e is just a spot you drive through. Yeah. You're trying to go wherever else. Facts. I'm trying to show that there's talent. You're trying to shed some light on this mm -hmm. in the city. Rappers, boxers, clothing, everything. Everything. There's hella shit going on. Just some people choose to be ignorant when it comes to E-Town. Facts. Nah, E-Town's a small city, but yo, you There's a lot of talent going on. Shout out Alfonso Davis, first mm. nigga in the city to actually make it, make it, you mm. know what I'm saying? Shout out myself, Hollywood, the next nigga in the city to make it, make it, Bob. Bob. Okay. It's your boy Money Making, Marlo. Yes, yes, yes. You know what time it is. Big Big Yeah, Big Yeah, I'm out. Yes, sir.